Let's talk about ratios. So we're going to see if these ratios are equivalent. So what does it mean for a ratio to be equivalent? So you can think of uh, the denominator, you can think of having bars of chocolate that are the same size. Right? So we'll have one bar of chocolate here, and we'll have one bar of chocolate here. And we're just cutting them up into different pieces. Right? So the first bar will cut up into two pieces. The second bar will cut up into four pieces. So we're not changing the actual size of the chocolate bar. And in the first case, we're going to eat one of the pieces. And in the second case, we're going to eat three of the pieces. And we're basically asking, do we eat the same amount of chocolate both ways? And I think you know the answer is no here, right? You've eaten more chocolate on the right than you have on the left, right? One, two, three out of four feels bigger than one out of two. Okay, that's fine. There's a way of systematically doing this, which is you just, you can do it a couple ways. One thing you can do is you can take one half and you can multiply by this flipped. And you can see if you get one or not. And if you don't get one, then they're not equivalent ratios. So here they're not. Another thing you can do is say, okay, this is times three. Two, one times three is three, and two times four, two times two is four, and these numbers aren't the same. So one times three is three, two times two is four, so they can't be equivalent. So we'll, we'll do a bunch of them in these coming up problems. So if you're, if you're a little bit confused, don't worry, we'll, we'll go through a bunch of them. But this one's no. Okay, so how about this? Let's do it the first simple way. We take four fifths, and we can multiply by 20 over 16. And when we cross these out, we get four. When we cross these out, we get four. And that's just one. So they are equivalent. How about 2 over 4 and 10 out of a 20? Okay, so we could do 2 over 4 times 20 over 10, right? We kind of like flip them and put them together. And we see what happens. So this will give us a 5. And this will give us a five, and this will be one. So yes, these are equivalent ratios. How about this? Three out of four times 16 out of 15. Okay, that's gonna give us a four. That's gonna give us a five. That's not equal to one, so no, they are not equivalent ratios. How about four out of five and 20 out of 25? So four out of five times 25 out of 20, that'll give us a five here and a one. This will give us a five and oops, that's a five, and a one, and they cancel out, we just get one. So yes, these are equivalent ratios. Four out of five, 20, uh, 16 out of 20, so four out of five, times 20 out of 16, that'll be a four, that'll be a four, that'll give us a one, right? So these ratios are equivalent. How about this? Okay, so we have four out of five times 25 out of 16. That'll give us a five and a one. This will give us a one and a four, and this is not equal to one. So these ratios are not equivalent. Okay, how about this? Three out of four and 15 out of 20. So we can do three out of four times 20 out of 15 
cross these out, get a 5, cross these out, 1, 1, get a 5. These are the same, so it's 1. Another thing you could do is say times 5, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20. Those are the same, so they are equivalent ratios. How about this? 3 out of 5 times 25 out of 15. So that'll be a 5 and a 1. That'll be a 5 and a 1. These are the same, so we'll get 1, which means these ratios are equivalent. And last but not least, 3 out of 4 and 20 out of 12. That'll give us a 1 and a 4. This will give us a 1 and a 5. 5 out of 4 is not equal to 1, so these are not the same. No. Let's do a, let's do a, oh. I guess that was the only level. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's not much else to do. I guess I will say that um, if two things are equivalent ratios, so not this problem. So this, th these are going to be no, right? Because this is times two, and this is times four. That's another way of doing it. So no. Let's look for one that is three out of four. No. So this is times four. This is times five. So no. Let's look for one that is. I'll draw you another picture. Okay, one out of five, three out of fifteen. This is right because times 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 3 is 15, or you could do the 1 over 5 times 15 over 3, and you would get 1, 3, and this would give you a 1. So what the picture, another picture for this other than chocolate, is if you have a 1 and a 5, that makes a triangle, but if you had a 3 and a 15, that would make another triangle, and those triangles would be similar triangles. So that's another way of thinking about whether things are in proportion or not. All right, guys. So we're going to say yes to this one. And I hope you have a great day.